Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I am an independent music artist. I write and record and produce my own music. And I also film weekly videos for Solo Trip Podcast. And for this video, I wanted to kind of go back into a topic that I have talked about before. I made a couple of videos when I was gonna do a juice fast, like an alkaline, Dr. Sebi kind of recommended um, juice fast. And I kind of wanna talk about it again because since that fast and since filming those videos, I kind of internalized and like begun to understand a bit more about not just the food itself but also like how the body works but how the mind works and how consciousness works so i kind of want to dive back into this topic again because i feel like at the minute food has become such a big like talked about thing you know we're all aware of the food industry and the awful things that they do to the animals and also like the chemicals and things that they pump in the animals the antibiotics and also how they cut out like cancer from the animal like from the meat rather than actually throwing it away they just chop around it and still feed it to you so i think like there's so much information about it now that we really understand it but then on the opposite end of the spectrum with that when you start to understand the negative things that happen it can then start to instill more fear and fear is like the ultimate agenda that they push it's the ultimate way to control you you know like that's literally how mind control works is instilling fear into you so i also see the agenda with the vegan movement and with like cutting out meat and cutting out dairy and even like the fast food chains how they're starting to produce um like vegan options and stuff whilst i like really think that that's good at the same time obviously it's still processed so just because you're vegan it doesn't mean that you're healthy and this whole video is not even to talk about being vegan or being a meat eater like i literally don't care you know i don't eat meat but i still eat dairy and I don't think that the argument should even be about whether you're one or the other. I think the real argument is, or not even an argument, like the real focus should be on getting rid of the fear, you know? So whether you eat meat or you eat dairy, if if consciousness is all that there is, if consciousness is the most powerful thing, like, and that's literally how you manifest your reality, that's literally how it's created, is via vibration you know electromagnetic waves vibrating and that's what you're made up of and so if like the frequency that you vibrate at matters and that's how you manifest your physical reality then surely that's the most important thing so like how you perceive and how you believe and how you internalize what you're eating matters more than what you're actually eating you know and this is how you can get people that have smoked their whole lives and they never get ill from it like they've never had cancer or any kind of disease or anything that you would naturally associate with smoking or like it could be anything somebody could drink alcohol or they could do any number of things you know there's so many like things around us that are considered poisonous or bad for us but there's certain people that can do that and keep doing that and then not get sick and then there's other people that do that and they do get sick you know even though we know that those things are definitely bad for you but like i think your belief around it is the most important thing your mindset around it is the most important thing because that is your power like that is who you naturally are your natural state of being is consciousness you know it's spirit it's energy it's not a physical vessel so the things that can affect your physical vessel start in the mind first so i do feel like as you start to learn about the negative effects of certain things in this world like you can learn about chemtrails it's not just about diet you can learn about chemtrails you can learn about all kinds of crazy things that happen and things that they are doing to the planet you know they are manipulating it they are controlling the weather they are putting chemtrails in the sky in the air i don't even know the right phrase for all of that or the right way to explain it but you know that they are doing these things and 
when you uncover it, it can make you so mad and be like, why? Like, why would they literally destroy the planet and go to such extreme lengths to actually try and, like, kill us? or like make us sick so that they can control us. Like why the hell would somebody go to all of that effort? It's just so crazy and almost like unbelievable. But then when you learn that, it then makes you fear things. Like you might not want to go outside, you might not want to eat anything because even the vegetables they've manipulated and changed like the structure of the vegetables and stuff and manufactured and man-made certain vegetables like carrots and things that aren't even a natural um vegetable from the earth you know so when we look at alkaline diet and dr sabia's teachings and stuff it's not just meat that you're removing it's certain vegetables that you're removing too because they're not natural so it's like you realize that they've actually affected and changed so many things that even things you would think are good for you aren't you know so it's like you literally can't win <laughs> because you can go completely vegan but then you're still not healthy because you could be eating all the processed stuff you could be eating things that aren't alkaline you know if our body's electric then it needs alkaline food it doesn't need acid and yet a lot of the foods that we consume are acidic so you literally can't win and that's why I feel like it's about actually focusing on your mental state and your beliefs and really trying to like get to the root of all of the fears and elevate them and transcend them because you can have so many fears about so many goddamn things in this world and that's the one thing that will keep you stuck and keep you like depressed and in low vibrational states is the fear you know so yeah it's something that I'm really realizing because I did try and do a fruit fast and I only managed it for a couple of days back when I did it because my mind was not right you know it's actually quite hard to go from eating solid food and consuming all of these meals and then go to just liquid I just couldn't do it so I did a couple of days and then I ended up stopping and I realized like even with something like that it starts in the mind first so that literally shows you that like it's not just about food it's not just about doing some kind of diet type thing or a fast type thing it's literally always about your mind even when it comes to your goals when it comes to anything that you want to do even relationships like romance and stuff it all comes back to your mind and your belief system so I just feel like there's such a a focus on we need to do this we need to do that but really it's just like whatever works for you you know if you feel like you need to eat meat then okay I don't agree with the industry and the way that they treat the animals and like all of the shit that they pump into it and I just think it's so disgusting and so vile but I do understand that like in ancient cultures and in ancient times they did still eat meat but they were grateful for it you know like it was a ritualized thing I feel like I didn't even say that word right. It came out almost like witch. <laughs> but I said ritual. But it really sounded, I don't even know. That sounded weird. But anyway, like it was a ritualized thing where they would be so grateful and so like giving towards it and appreciative of the fact that they're sacrificing an animal to like fulfill their body's needs, you know? Because obviously our body needs to survive and like plants I can't remember like the technical term I did see a young pharaoh video where he broke down the science of like the fact that that plants and everything can not feel because obviously they don't have nerves but they like they are conscious you know so like we are destroying plants and things as well when we eat vegetables and stuff and herbs but they don't have nerves in the way that animals do but even so like the whole cycle of life on this earth is obviously like prey and predator you know like you're killing things in order to live so this whole planet is built on that kind of cycle anyway like we know all of this so it's not like we never should harm anything but it's the intent behind it it's like the way that they go about it is just so disgusting and so unnecessary and also another part of 
manipulation and controlling the masses you know because they're mass producing the food and they're controlling what food's available and the amount of food that's available and all of that so it's just another part of their wonderful agenda of brainwashing and controlling the collective but yeah so I just wanted to go back into it because that video kind of went quite popular actually it was like I don't know why it was just one of the videos that started to get pushed in the algorithm recently even though I filmed it ages ago literally maybe even like the beginning of the year or something I did film it quite a few months ago and it started to pick up a little bit recently so I wanted to just like add on to it because as you learn more and you understand more and like you experience more you start to your perception shifts and it changes you know so I didn't end up sticking with the fast but I have implemented a lot of those foods naturally like that's another thing I feel like when we go to such drastic me measures of trying to change your diet or change anything especially for me I would always just try and jump straight in and like change a million things at once and then I couldn't stick with it but now like I take my herbs in tablet form I make my own capsules and not the capsules the capsules I buy but I make my own um like I fill them with herbs myself you know and take them every day and like have really tried to cut down on dairy and stuff so I feel like the change is still necessary but at the same time it's about what feels best for you it's about listening to your body and listening to what it needs and also hearing your beliefs you know so then you understand exactly where your ego mind which is associated with the animal like instinctual part of your body and a part of your consciousness like then you can understand that and what it needs and where it's coming from and why it wants certain things is it addicted to the sugar like is it craving it or does it actually need it do you know what I mean like understanding the difference between an addiction and a craving and what it actually needs in order to feel good and thrive you know and I don't think that there's any right or wrong. It's just about choosing what's best for you. And then obviously science can kind of prove like the standard of what the body needs. But we know that they know way more than what they tell you. So like I don't even care to listen to half of the stuff that they have to say. Even the science. Because you know that they're only telling you like a proportion of what they, blah, 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 of what they know. And they're just feeding you what they want you to know. So my message, as always, comes back to the mind. And I feel like in every video that I ever make, it always comes back to, what do you believe? What are your thoughts telling you? Like, listening to your own mind and meditating on it and then having to just decide for you. Because there's so many, like, we can spend forever debating and battling each other and having this whole argument of, like, go vegan or eat meat or do this or do that like which one's best for you and really you just need to listen to yourself and decide what's right for you you know and that may change as you learn more as you understand more and as you listen to your body more it may change you know and for me I know that when I eat fruit and vegetables I feel way better than when I eat chocolate or when I eat like fast food or something you know I can tell the difference and I feel like everyone could if they would detox their body and actually listen to it in its natural form rather than it's clogged up you know like ugh, type of parasite filled state but that's just me and that's just what I've experienced so anyway I feel like this video was kind of fast and actually went way faster than I expected but maybe I just talked really fast I don't really know but <laughs> that is it for this video and this podcast episode if you're listening on the podcast apps thank you so so much for listening and watching and all my links for my music and social media will be in the description box below and make sure you come and follow me on instagram you can dm me if you want to and like we can chat about this a bit further and also i have a private instagram group for this kind of community of people that are just trying to better themselves so all of those links will be in the description box below and i will see you in the next video bye oh yeah thinking like me yeah i'm icy calling in the white tea oh yeah thinking like me yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, in my range all white Oh, yeah, I think you might
think he might I'm not thinking like Pick my ring, Joe White 